Hey guys, my name is Yuvraj and I'm going to teach you how to create that amazing dice simulator game. But before getting started, I'd like to tell you that you can follow us on Instagram. We have 126,000 coders family on Instagram. You can also download our app, 24,000 plus active users. So it's for your benefit. And now let's get to the video. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a dice simulator game. So what is the logic behind this? Uh, first, I'll use the Tikinter module to create the GUI and all the things you can see on the screen. Then I'm going to add a label, then another label to show the images of the dice. Okay, the dice facing a number, then a button to simply uh, pick a random dice image. Okay, so let's get started to the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to Eduar and in this video we are going to create the dice roll game with Python using GUI and source code. I'm going to provide you in the description. Now, um, uh, as I just told you the logic what I'm going to use. So first we'll start with the importing the modules. So first I'm going to import the Tikinter module for the graphical user interface. So what is graphical user interface? This is it. Okay. The graphics you can see the button, the window and all. This is the graphical user interface. Then the PIL import image, image uh, TK. This is the module which I'm going to use. I'm going to show you the use case. Then the random module as you all might know. What I done here, I created a list called as dice and in this dice, I'm going to store six images, dice one, dice two, three, four, six, so on. Okay. So these are the six images facing the number of the dice. Then I have created a root window using initializing the object of tick enter. Then the title is dice simulator. The geometry of the window is 500 by 400. Then I created a label dice simulator tk.label root text dice simulator foreground is yellow background black font is this this so you can see this is the label dice simulator you can see over here the root text is equals to dice simulator and uh, the foreground is yellow background is black then l one dot pack so i have packed it over the top then uh, i have created a variable image image tk dot photo image image dot open random dot choice dice now what is happening over here I'm going to choose a random image from the dice, random dot choice dice. Then I'm going to open the image. Then I'm going to store it inside the variable. So this variable is going to store a random image. After that, I'm going to initialize that image to a label. So L2 is equals to TK dot label root image is equals to IMG. So this label is going to store the image. Okay. This uh, label is going to store the image that I have a role uh, function over here. So what it does, it basically going to open a random image again. Okay. And then we are going to configure that image to our already present label, which is the label two. So here at the place of the six, I'm going to add another random image using the role method. So whenever the role method uh, is called, the image is going to change. Okay. Then I'm going to create, I'm creating a reference over here. It's not that mandatory. Then I'm creating the button. You can see the button over here, roll the dice button. So root, I'm going to place it in the root window. Text is equals to roll the dice. Foreground is blue, command is equals to roll. Then I'm going to pack the button. So it's done root dot man loop to show out my window. If you don't uh, uh, write this line, it's not going to show you the window. So let's click on the roll the dice button and let's see what happens. As you can see, it's going to change the image again at every time, right? So see, whenever I'm clicking on the button, it's going to change the image so i hope you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and subscribe and share it with your friends you can also use it as your assignment for the college or to show off to your friends thank you